Well, well, what do we have here? The brown Santa just delivered. And we're gonna skip the unboxing and go right to the demo and the comparison video. So stay tuned. Okay, here we are all unboxed. This is the new EV, Everse 8. And we're comparing it to the current crop of battery powered portable PAs. On the far left, we all know the, the reigning champion of many households is the Bose S1 Pro. To the right, second from the far right, is the JBL Compact. It's been out for a while. And then the, the second newest, uh, compared to the uh, new EV, is the Mackie Thumb Go. And that's been out exactly about one year. So here we go. Uh, we've skipped the unboxing and we're going right to the comparison video. In a portable PA system, weight is, is a top priority. I know it is for myself. So we have them lined up in order, actually. The bows is the lightest at 16 pounds. The EV is right behind it, only one pound heavier at 17 pounds. And the heavy weights of this group are the Mackie and the JBL, and they're exactly the same weight at 18 pounds each. So between the 16 pounds bows and the um, JBL Mackie, you got two pounds difference. Uh, every, every bit counts when you're tired at the end of a gig, but uh, maybe two pounds isn't a deciding factor. I do want to say the Bose is a little smaller, the form factor, and I know that's very, very minimal, but still, it's the smallest and the lightest. You know, when I go through this comparison, it's very hard to make a recommendation at the end. It really comes down to uh, what you, the buyer, needs. Maybe you need the lightest speaker, um, maybe you need the loudest speaker, best sounding speaker or the next category could be very important. I know it is for everybody, and that is price. So the least expensive speaker as we speak, because these prices keep jumping, especially since I made these videos a year ago, the least expensive is the Mackie at $450. That's your least expensive speaker. Uh, then we have the JBL Compact at $630 as we speak. The Bose S1 Pro, $700. And the most expensive speaker here, and that is our new Challenger, and that's the EV, Everse 8 at $750. I do wanna mention all these speakers. Um, you can get a discount online. I know Black Friday is coming up, Christmas time, but Bose is, is pretty uh, set in their prices. But I know I'm, for myself, I, I use my 15% off Guitar Center coupon to purchase the EV. So that lowered the price a little bit. So keep your eyes open for the sales. But again, um, you're not going to find much with Bose. After price, uh, you need to consider longevity. All these speakers have removable batteries, which is wonderful. Uh, the Bose has the most difficult battery to remove. You have to use a screwdriver and on all the others, the battery is hand removable, which is really nice. Another thing that's, um, that has to be considered when you're talking about price, and that is warranty when something goes wrong. And if you're a gigging musician, having speakers for a number of years, things might go wrong. I know I've used my warranties in the past. So I wanna point out the JBL Compact has the, the best warranty. The JBL has increased their warranty on the whole Eon One series, the Mark II, the PRX and now the JBL Compact also to seven years, which is kind of incredible. That equals the Yamaha warranty of seven years and it beats the QSC uh, six year warranty. The other speakers are your normal uh, one year or maybe I, I believe it's a couple of years, maybe three years on parts, but uh, the seven year warranty can't be beat. That's on the JBL Compact only. Talking about sound signature, uh, if you've watched my previous videos, I've always felt the Bose S1 Pro was the most hi-fi sounding speaker. I've really considered it my gold standard. Just sounds really smooth, nice high highs, but the uh, mid-range is really what stands out, non-fatiguing. Uh, the JBL with an, uh, is, has better bass, but the highs are kind of rolled off a little bit. 
Uh, Bose is also rolls, uh, the highs are rolled off slightly compared to some other speakers I own. And the Mackie is kind of the opposite. It has really nice high end, very clean, uh, but it really is lacking in bass. So if you look at the specs, uh, the Bose goes from 70 Hertz to 16 only. Uh, so 16 Hertz is your high end and 70 is your low end. So that 16 Hertz uh, kind of, that's um, proves my point about the rolled off high end. Uh, the JBL, I don't have the specs in front of me, the, the frequency response, but I know it's not, it doesn't go up to 20 Hertz. Uh, the Mackie does go up to 20 Hertz. That's why probably it has such a nice high end. It, it goes down to 57 Hertz to 20. And the EV has the best specs of them all. It goes down lower than the Mackie. It goes, it goes down to 50 and it goes up to 20. Uh, I want to mention right, right now, I haven't even heard the EV. It's directly out of the box. I charged it up and I have not done any listening tests. So that is going to be for my next videos. So I can't give you any information about how the EV sounds in comparison. I'm only specs. Uh, the next most important area, especially for myself, I'm looking for uh, an external battery powered speaker to go with my other battery powered speaker. That's my JBL Mark II. So I'm looking for another speaker to add some more uh, room filling sound or just to fill up the room in, in, in some corners that the sound is not reaching from the Mark II. So again, spec wise, and a lot of people say they don't even consider watts, but let's just see what the specs say. Bose, 150 watts. JBL, 150 watts. Uh, the Mackie has 200 watts. And my, my own uh, Max DB testing do, does um, show that it, it is a louder speaker. And here's a, one of the reasons why, or maybe the number one reason I bought the EV. It is listed as spec-wise 400 watts. So that's double of the Mackie. So that's pretty impressive. 400 watts in this size speaker. Like I said, I haven't heard it, we will see. And then uh, as far as specs, sound DB, this is most people say, don't even look at watches, look at DBs. So the Bose is listed as 109 decibels. The JBL is 112 decibels, which I don't really, uh, in my test, I don't really find them one louder than the other. They're about equal, very similar. The Mackie is louder at 115 dB. So when you go from 109 to 115, there's a definite difference. But here we go again. This specs really um, stands out. The EV, E-verse 8, is claiming 121 dB. So that is a huge jump. Anything over uh, 6 dB or so is like adding a second speaker, double the vol volume, at least perceived volume. I believe you need 10 dB difference to actual have, actually have uh, double the volume. But uh, 121 is pretty good. Uh, in my, to summarize my own personal testing, I, what I would do is I would set each speaker up at the same distance, same track. And these are my findings I got from my previous videos, if you haven't checked them out. The JBL was the lowest volume at 95 dB. And that means it starts clipping red, anything over that. The Bose was a little louder. 3 dB more, which is which is kind of louder, yeah, is 98 dB. And the Mackie shined out of those three speakers, it, it had 100 dB before clipping. So when you compare the JBL to the Mackie, that's five decibels. That's almost your six decibel perceived double in loudness. So that Mackie is a pretty good speaker for the price and the volume and the clarity. But now we have this new challenge of the EV and we will see if it is that much louder than the, the Mackie, because that's what the specs are, are telling us. 400 watts, 121 dB. If, if I can get those kind of specs, then I think for my personal uses, it's going to kind of put the Mackie um, down a couple of rungs. We will see. Turning the speakers around, let's go over some of the features, the differences, and again, uh, these are your decision makers. What, what you need as a musician or DJ or a busker, whatever. Everybody that's, many people watching this video have different needs. So my needs are very different. And that's when people say, so which is the best speaker? It really uh, has a lot of different factors to decide. 
So one deciding factor that many gigging musicians will claim that the JBL meets their needs right away and there's no reason to listen to the rest of the video and that is the JBL is the only speaker here with three music inputs, two XLR and a quarter inch. All the others have only two inputs. Here's the Mackie with two inputs and then of course a Bluetooth, I'm not counting that. Uh, a new Everse e 8 has only two. I'm a little surprised. That's a deal breaker from for many people. I'm surprised EV did that. And then Bose, which is a much older speaker, the oldest of the bunch, again, only two. Here's a feature I like on the new EV. It has locking L XLR inputs. All the others um, are not locking. So here's our Mackie and it does it lock? So I really like that. It's just a more secure fitting in case someone trips on the wire, it won't pull out as easy in the middle of a gig. Safety reason. Uh, here again, big difference. I don't know if it's such a, a deal breaker, but it's the only speaker here with the mix out or throughout that has XLR. All the others are quarter inch. I prefer XLR because most people have a, a handy spare XLR cable lying around. Just makes things easier. And again, I think it's a more secure fitting there. Uh, it has a foot switch that controls, it controls um, your DSP. None of the others have that. And of course it has this new high tech LCD screen. And there, right there, if you look at it, it has a battery indicator uh, I just charge it up so it it's full. I'm not so crazy about this. I was looking at the app. I'm looking at the, the LCD. I really wish maybe through a firmware update in the future, they would have percentages. I like to see 85%, 90%, 95. Uh, the, the Bose S1 Pro does have that. It's not on the outside. I can't show it to you, but it does have digital percentage on the app, which I like. Uh, JBL has this funky bar, the green bar on top, it goes up and down as it's very imprecise. I don't know where my battery's at. And maybe the Mackie is the worst in the, out of the bunch. It, all it has is a green dot that says battery. And then maybe it turns yellow and then it gets red, but uh, you really don't know where you're at. As I mentioned, the Bose S1 Pro is the oldest, so it doesn't have all that new app technology. But some people prefer this, the Bose, for the one, this reason alone. This could be a reason that they choose Bose, and that is the controls, as you see right there, volume, reverb, bass treble. It's right there at, at your fingers. So in the middle of a gig, you can just give it a little more treble or cut the bass, add some more reverb. You don't have to do any menu diving. You don't have to go into anything. Um, the JBL is the worst, in my opinion. It has these high-tech green lights. That as you turn up the volume, the green light gets higher. You have no idea what volume you're on, unless you look at the app. So I, I really don't like that feature. And then the Mackie does have your old school dials, so that's good. On the other hand, the EV has the LCD screen, and with the touch of a quick finger touch, uh, it's right there. You see exactly what volume we're at here. I'm at minus 10 dB. I really like that, where it's very precise. Um, and so I can either take notes down or, or remember what a particular room that I'm playing in or, or even a particular track, how I set it. Very precise. Where when, again, going back to the JBL, you really have no idea where you're at. Big negative in my book. I'm not picking on you, JBL, but this is another feature that I'm not so crazy about. Of these speakers, it's the only speaker that has a touch um, push power on and off. You have to hold it for a couple of seconds. Every second counts. So it's not something I really enjoy. All the other speakers here, the Mackie has a rocker switch, old school rocker. Uh, your new EV has the old school rocker and the Bose S1 Pro. And that's a feature I prefer. The EV has the new uh, Bluetooth 5.0. I'm not sure of the Bose, but it's an older unit. It came out in 2018. It probably has a 4.0. I'm not sure about the Compact. And I believe the Mackie has the 5.0. I've been 
I think I read recently that the 5.0 increases, doubles the distance. I know the, uh, the older 4.0 is like 30 feet. So now you can go like 60 feet uh, Bluetooth. So that's pretty, pretty incredible technology moving ahead. I mentioned before here on the Bose S1 Pro, you, there's your reverb. You can boost it or cut it really quickly. The touch of your finger during in the middle of the gig, even in low light. Um, the EV, again, easily reached, but you have to go through the LCD. It's a little more time consuming. Same thing with the JBL, have to go to the app. And the Mackie, big downside, no, no, um, no reverb at all, zero. So it's not a musician speaker, it's more of a, just an auxiliary speaker or a beginning DJ speaker. Another downside that if you've watched my past videos, you will probably know by now, and that is the throughout of the um, Mackie here does not work. It will not run an auxiliary speaker or a subwoofer when you're using Bluetooth. So that's a really big negative in my book. I know uh, the throughout on the Bose, you can connect it, line out to a sub or an aux speaker, it works fine. Same thing with the JBL. And as far as the EV, like I mentioned, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it probably works with the mix out to a subwoofer or an auxiliary speaker. JBL has this great feature. It has two USB ports for charging laptop or a phone. That's a great feature. And then our newest speaker, they were smart enough to copy that feature, but they went one more, one up, and they now they're using U, U, um, USB-C, the new connection for most laptops and cell phones. So here I got my cell phone charging up right from the speaker. Really handy, good feature. Bose does not have that, and Mackie does not have that feature either. For you DJs out there who play in rain or shine, uh, EV has come out with something very interesting that the other speakers don't have. And that, that's this uh, plastic cover that covers your, your electronics and it has a certain amount of water protection. So if you get caught out in a sprinkle or a rain, it's not gonna ruin your speaker. Pretty interesting, technology marches on. Speaking of technology, look at the effects that are built in to this new EV, 30 effects, all kinds of reverbs, chorus, delay, short, long, slap back, um, church setting, soft, it's amazing, really incredible. Where you go back to your, your older speaker, the Bose S1 Pro, all you have is one reverb sound, that's it. But for many uh, vocalists, buskers, that's all they need, something really simple. But this is much more of a musician speaker Pretty incredible. JBL also has a good app, and the Mackie app is very, very minimal, just um, basic EQ, highs, mids, low. Very, it does have a mute, which I like, but it's a very basic e app. Um, the Bose has no app, except that battery indicator, or the connect, where you can connect two speakers wirelessly. So the EV definitely has the best app of the bunch. I've already gone through the EV app because I also have the EV30M, so I'm very familiar with the app. It's the most easy, easily app to use compared to the JBL. JBL also has a good EQ section, but the, J, uh, the EV is just so much easier to use, uh, more clear, it's more simple to use. Big factor in my book. This might be a deciding factor right here. Very unusual EV came with a sticker. None of the other speakers come with that. Definitely a plus in my opinion. One of the negatives reported on both the Bose S1 Pro and the JBL Compact is that the preamp on the microphone channels is kind of weak and many people have to add a small mixer to get the volume they need. And that really defeats the purpose of a portable PA if you have to start bringing another piece of gear uh, mixer. So uh, I'm not gonna be testing the microphone in my tests. I don't really use it too much for my purposes. 
So uh, vocalists out there, you might want to make sure the EV preamps are stronger than the Bose S1 Pro and the JBL before you make your final decision. One of the weaknesses that musicians have complained about for a long time about the Bose S1 Pro is the fact that it doesn't have a master volume control. That can really slow you up during a live performance. You have channel one set on your microphone, you have channel two set on your guitar, and then you just want to raise the volume a little bit and you can't do it. You have to raise each volume separately. That's really a downside. And the other um, thing that I really criticize and others do too about the Bose is there's just a two band EQ. It's just bass and treble. Where is the mids? The mids are so important to get the dial in the correct sound. Now, if you ask the Bose people, uh, their comeback is, oh, uh, to make this system sound proper, you need the T4 mixer. That has master volume, that has mid control. And how much is the T4 mixer? $700, the same price as the Bose S1 Pro. So that's really um, a big downside that the other speakers, um, they don't have those issues. Not good. And you, know, you would figure on the new Bose products that they would address this. Sure enough, on the Bose Pro line, the Pro 32, same story. No mids. I don't understand it myself. Okay, before I get to the comment section, I'm going to beat you to it. There's going to be people who are going to ask me, but there's two more battery-powered portable PAs on the market that I do not own, and they are the Yorkville Yorkville EXM Mobile 8 and the HK Move 8. Uh, they both have 200 watts and they both are claiming 123 dB, which is, which is more volume than the 121 dB EV. Now, I'm not sure how they can do it with their 200 watts compared to the EV 400 watts, but like I mentioned, I've never heard those speakers and I do not know. Uh, they both are 17 pounds, so right in the same ballpark as all these others. But there is a couple of differences, and that is the HK only has 70 degrees of coverage. I believe the EV has 100 degrees, which means it's gonna cover, uh, one speaker will cover a much larger room audience. And the HK has the highest price. It's from Germany, I believe, and it's 850 here. So that's, that's getting pricey already, $850 for a small eight inch battery powered speaker. But it does have something really good, the HK Move, and that is it has a, a hot swap battery. It comes with two batteries, and while you take out one, you can um, place a new battery in there. Uh, check out o Opaz's video on that. He really recommends the HK Move, if you can get past the $850 price range. And then the Yorkville EXM Mobile 8 uh, is a no-go, in my opinion, because it doesn't have a user-replaceable battery. So when the battery dies, and eventually, um, you're going to need a new battery after three or four years. I don't know. You have to send it back to Canada or something, and you can't buy a, a spare battery for a gig. So that's a um, that's a speaker I'm not even considering until they fix that shortcoming, and that is it doesn't have a user-replaceable battery. Okay, let's wrap up this video. So for my purposes, why did I buy another portable PA battery? They all look the same. Well, I mentioned I'm looking for the most volume. I'm, I'm, I play outdoors and I'm using this for my use. An auxiliary speaker, the Mackie has been, met my needs. It's as loud as my um, JBL Mark II, almost as loud. So I'm thinking if the EV is even louder, it'll just be that much better outdoors and it'll kind of make my Mackies obsolete. Sorry to say, but technology marches on. Uh, my Bose, I, I love the Bose S1 Pro just because, like I said, it, the simplicity, the plug and play, uh, it does have a very nice sound for its size. And I don't, I don't know, even though it's not much lighter, it just looks so tiny and the form factor fits more easily in your car. So that one's a definitely a keeper. JBL Compact, I'm not using it that much anymore. These other speakers in many ways have overcome it in my categories, but I'm still holding on to it. So that's it. Until I get to the sound test, I, I, I can't really say if this new EV is my personal new uh, number one portable PA. So please stick around for the next week or two, probably at least two more weeks, 
before I get to that sound test. I'm really gonna be comparing the EV to the Bose S1 Pro because if you look at my past videos, the Bose S1 Pro had a more hi-fi sound than the JBL. Um, JBL was a better bass, but it definitely had a more rolled off high end. Uh, the Mackie has a nicer high end than the Bose S1 Pro. It is louder. So those, but like I said, the Bose was more of a hi-fi speaker. So I'm assuming the EV might be louder than the Mackie. I'm hoping it's gonna have the same clarity on the top end because it goes up to that 20 Hertz. So if it can be louder than the Mackie, then that would oh, take it the place of my Mackie. We will see. Stay tuned for those sound test clips in the future. This is Bill, hope you enjoyed. Later.